Hey, hey, sexy. Did I just hear you right? Did you just stupidly catcall me? But these guys in Gaza have never seen anything like this in real life. Whoa, that's too much. She just beat up two men. What is she, Rambo or something? I don't like that she grabbed the men, but a woman also needs to defend her honor. If just one of the men watching thinks about the traditional roles of men and women in this Islamic very macho society, then they've achieved their goal. The comedy group calls itself Basya Zalame, which roughly translates to, hey man, cut the crap. We're criticizing our own society, but we're not giving answers. We're showing the viewer that something's wrong and that we should think about this. Three women approach Reham. They know all her clips and are huge fans. 19-year-old Reham wears jeans and no headscarf, an exception here in Gaza. That's run by Hamas and dominated by men. Reham's video clips show everyday situations here in a comic light. In this one, Reham plays a bride who is literally being measured up by her future mother-in-law, like a cow at market. Her hair and eyes are checked for quality. The role of the mother-in-law has to be played by a male colleague, Reham being the only woman in Gaza involved in making the skits, which always end with a small feminist rebellion. Here, while the firmness of her bite is being measured, the bride-to-be bites back. Listen up, I don't want to get married. Get lost, mother-in-law, and take your son with you. Go, get lost. Reham shows us that a woman can have a strong personality and needs to defend herself. The other fan is more skeptical. I don't think that we can change our society. It just wouldn't be accepted if we all suddenly became like Reham and left the house without a headscarf. The actress had an experience that was similar to the one shown in the skit. During a break in filming, Reham, who studied law, tells us the details. The man in question was a distant relative of her mother. He proposed, but with conditions. A guy wanted to marry me, but he said I had to give up acting. He wanted me to forget everything that's important to me. He wanted me to dress and behave like all the other women do in our society. I rejected his proposal. I didn't find the guy that bad, but I support Reham and all that she wants to achieve. But the group does have to make some compromises. Reham can never be the only woman on set. Her mother always has to be there to accompany her. Gaza is a world strictly controlled by Hamas, and Reham often has to deal with angry criticism and even threats. In this clip, she plays a traffic officer. In reality, a woman doing this is inconceivable. The drivers, all of them men, sit and stare like she's from another planet. And as a woman, of course, she has no authority. It seems like a harmless video, but while her male colleagues were applauded for their performance, Reham was criticised and insulted on social media for hers. The main thread, a respectable woman doesn't do these kinds of things. Even some of her relatives have distanced themselves. People said a lot of horrible things about me, that I was a disgrace, for example. It hit me hard. I said to my mother, that's it, I give up. I don't want to leave the house anymore. But my mother has always picked me up and encouraged me. Instead of giving up acting and waiting for a prospective husband to get her a ring, Reham, together with her mother and friends, buys her own jewellery. She wants to have a career, to become a famous actress in the Arab world, one who uses humour to change society. It's a dream and one that she refuses to let die, despite the harsh realities of life in Gaza.